There's no doubt that this is an impressive image. I've won awards with it. It's one of the first images in my portfolio and it's one of my most liked images on Instagram. But all I needed to create this photograph was a camera, a model, and a little Photoshop savvy. That's it. There's not too many tricks here, just amazing light. Let me show you how to take a very simple idea and transform it into high resolution art. What's going on guys? My name is Corey Vanderplu at Corey Photo on Instagram and Twitter. Today I'm going to show you how I created the shot. The main purpose of this was to catch an amazing sunset. As you can see, it's around 642 in the morning here. The sunset isn't so amazing. I mean, the light's really nice, it's soft, it's flattering, but it didn't have that sky that you see in the final images. And how did I get that sky? Well, the sky actually was there. All I really did was bring the exposure down. So even though this is a perfectly exposed image, if you bring the sky down, that's where you get all your drama and your amazing colors. But even still, I'm only pointing north here. I wanna be shooting west into the sun. That's how I'll get the crazy glow. So as we began our posing and starting to shoot, the sky is a lot more interesting, a lot more dramatic. And now if I do the same thing, opening it in camera raw and bringing the sky right down, you can see all that information is there. But how do we combine these two? That's the question. How do we go from this to this? And then even how did I get this sky? Most people think that this sky was dropped in after the fact, but I'll show you, it wasn't. I scroll right down to where this image was. You can see all that information is there. When you look at this image, you would never think that there's an amazing sunset behind her. But again, if you just open up and use that raw material to your advantage, you can see that that sky comes right back. Look at that, night and day. Now how do we combine these two? Well, let's open up and show you. So once we're open and all these layers are taken off, it's really broken down into a few simple steps. First, I have my background layers that brings in the sky. Then I do my skin, my skin cleanup. I add my tones, my color, and then I add my grain. And there you go, really simple. But let's break it down really easily. So the first thing I do is, like I said, I bring down that sky. So how you do that in Photoshop is to go back into Camera Raw and bring down the exposure. Camera Raw is working with the raw file, which is where you get all your leverage. So you get far better results when working with the raw file in Camera Raw as opposed to Photoshop. So you just wanna bring down your highlights, maybe add some clarity to it to get a little bit more drama. But look at that sky, that sky's incredible. So now when you open this up, you hold Apple C and you just copy it right over. And then you add a mask here. You see the background's white, you wanna make sure that your background layer is dark so you can push Command Delete. And then all you have to do is paint it in. There's an easier way, if you hold M and hold your marquee tool, and you can just drag and drop and then you can just push delete then from there hit your B tool make your brush a little smaller and while holding shift just massage the line a little better you can see that our lines aren't quite perfect but even this looks much much better so you go there's your sky coming in but then you know it looks a little it looks a little off so all you want to do is drop the opacity just so it looks a little bit more natural Okay, from there, what I did was I used the simple J tool. The J tool is the healing brush. What you wanna do is sample somewhere along the line and just get rid of everything that you don't like. Very simple. Pretty much anything that distracts your eye. And when you have that all done, all right, from there, that's the hard part. You can see that when we turn our crop back on, this is already a stunning image. It doesn't really need much. It just does my, my patented skin, if you wanna check that out, video in the description. Same with the tones, video in the description, and then the grain. But again, very simple trick, night and day image. I mean, if you didn't know how to use these little Photoshop tools, you'd never get here. And that's really all it took, to take something like this and turn them into something like this. It's creating an HDR image out of a single image, and it's the easiest thing to do once you know the simple techniques. All right, guys, thanks for watching. My name's Corey Vanderplu at Corey Photo on Instagram and Twitter. Please reach out if you have any questions. I'd be happy to help. Happy shooting.